everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my Crafty Den. I um, am doing a Dollarama haul tonight. I haven't had, I did it on Thursday morning, my haul, and it's Friday night. Um, my two days off are almost over, but um, my husband has worked hard, hard, hard here for the last two days and has put down a whole new kitchen, dining room, living room floor for me. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, the only problem was that the house was kind of torn apart, so I couldn't get to film a little bit. So I'm here now, and I will just get right into my haul. So let me straighten up my camera a little bit. There, that's better. I don't like it when things look a little bit off and cockeyed. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the food items that I bought. So I bought a pack of these Junior Mints just because um, I like them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I bought, I saw uh, Stacy for uh, Stacy Stash um, haul these rice cakes and she keeps on saying how good they are. So I got a package of these. I'm going to put a few in my lunch to take to work. So I thought maybe afternoon snack. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try these. So if I like them and I end up getting them all the time, thanks a lot, Stacy. Um, it'll be all your fault. <laughs> um, I got two packages of these Vortman cookies. Um, Vortman cookies are awesome. I love them. And, uh, yeah, um, except that one is oatmeal raisin and one is oatmeal chocolate chip. I'm not going to bother showing both of them, but I got those. I got two packages of, or two cans of the Burns Flakes of Ham. Um, we like this to make sandwiches out of, make some toast, throw some of this on. It's yummy for a quick um, a quick lunch with a little bowl of soup or something. And because we're going on holidays in four weeks and we're going to go in the camper, all kinds of things, in, uh, food items in this haul were bought specifically for the camper. I got the um, heat and eat steamed rice, the basmati rice, because I love this stuff. It is so good, basmati rice. And I bought one, two three, four of these to put in my pantry in the trailer the or the camper because, um, yeah, this is just going to make a quick side dish for, right, for uh, dinner. And I bought, we needed a new salt and pepper shaker, so I just got a set of these. $1.50 for salt and pepper shakers with the salt and pepper in them. Can't go wrong. I bought some small sized items. So I didn't want to throw my whole jar of olive oil in there. So I got this little jar of olive oil. And we usually buy all of our condiments in the great big oversized containers for the fridge. So I've got the small size of the French's classic yellow prepared mustard because this is the brand we use now. Um, I got some relish. I don't usually get Heinz anything, but the relish was in the squeeze bottle, so it's convenient. I got the French's, um, tomato ketchup. Now, um, it says bottled in Canada with 100% Canadian tomatoes. So this is the ketchup we have to use. And I got a package of Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, a bottle of it. Now, this one... I like because it has the flip top squeezable lid and the same with the relish, the mustard, the ketchup, everything is the same, convenient to use and not messy and small enough to store in a little fridge in the camper. So that's it for the food items. Um, I got the only, um, other item I got was this pumpkin spice um, hand soap. It's the deep cleaning hands, deep, deep cleansing hand soap. And I smelled this in the store. 
Oh yes, it smells really, really nice. They had some fall scents there. Um, I can't remember what they were all all were, but this one was my favorite. So I'll take that and it'll go in the, the uh, camper with us and then we'll have it when we get back as well. Um, I bought this. It's huge. I mean, it's not huge, huge, but I mean, you know, the big, the regular big sized farm pails. Um, I don't know how many gallons they are, but this galvanized, um, it's probably aluminum galvanized metal bucket. It says galvanized metal bucket for $4. I just loved these handles and I did a fairy garden in the spring and it's been sitting outside uh, at my patio table all summer. We've enjoyed it and it's time to take that apart for the winter and I'm going to replant the plants in here and redo it as an indoor fairy garden for the winter. So um, that this is what I thought I'd do it in and I just love this. I think it's an awesome um, container for a fairy garden. So that is that and I got a couple of storage items. I bought another one of these stackable drawer units, um, same as the other one, except that I didn't realize when I was in the store, and this is a dark gray and my other one's black, and I don't think it will matter, but I didn't realize that they weren't the same color when I bought it. Um, but yeah, I got that and it's not a shopping bag, but it says there's nothing a little lunch break can't fix. Um, I don't know how true that is. I hope it's true because by the time lunch comes at work, I'm like needing a break. Um, so it, it's on both sides and, uh. Yeah, it's just a nice little gray on the sides. Just a nice little bag that I can put my lunches in. That was $2. Um, most of my... Most of the food items, I think everybody's pretty familiar with the prices. Almost all of them are either $1.50 or $2. Um, and then... Oh, I got one thing for the house. I needed a new um, bath mat. My other one was my other one was white, but it was starting to get um yeah, it was just it wasn't good anymore. So this is skid resistant with the suction cups and it's a clear one and I just thought this will be easy to see if it's got anything underneath it and you know I I'll to pick it up and rinse it off. And it's an oval shape. Um because we're in a mobile home, we have a small four foot tub. And I just thought that the oval shape or the clear oval shaped one here would be um, a little bit more fitting to the, the to the top. Oh, let me see what else I got. I got two. Let me dump all the stuff that's in here into the bag and then I'll just put them in here. I got two more of these plastic bins. These are three dollars each. I already have two of these on my shelving and they store so many good things and I and they fit my shelves just perfectly. Like I put them in this way so I can just grab the head. So you can't see that very good but I put them in lengthwise like this so I can just grab the front handle and slide them out and they work really good in my um, storage area. And I'm not completely done moving my craft room out yet. And that's why I've got some more storage items in this haul. Because, yeah, <laughs> um, some of the things that I'm realizing that I don't have, um, I've picked up in this haul as well. When I started putting things away, I could figure out what things I was, was short on and what things um, I needed. So I got a few things. So I picked this up and isn't this cute? Um, it says, I'm kind of a big deal. 
and it's spiral bound. A lot of the coils are very small. They're not a heavy duty coil or anything. And this was, I'm not sure. Let me look. Um, Huh. planner. It was $3. Now, my granddaughter, um, she actually checked into her dorm room at university yesterday, but her younger sister is saying goodbye to her for the very first time, and I'm sure it's hard on her and going back to school herself on her first day off. I'm just going to cut this off of here um, because she's always had her sister to go with her. So she'll be doing that bus ride tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but the first day of school, by herself. And I thought this planner was kind of a big deal. Now, I know she has a small happy planner for this year. I don't think she has next year's planner yet. She's only nine, and she has a planner, and she uses it. But look at how fun this is. Uh, hello, my name is, if lost, return to... And it has a start date and it's undated and it is really cute and it says check out these super stickers so there are polished stickers for when she gets her nails done uh, little call me stickers for making notes when she has to call somebody to maybe confirm um, a game or something like that because she gets into a lot of school activities and and does a lot of stuff. Um, they have pizza party day at school and all kinds of things like that. Girls night, so if she has friends over. Um, aren't they cute? Like, these are really stinking cute. Little glasses icons in case she has eye appointments, like she does wear glasses. Um, all kinds of seasonal stickers. Look at these. I didn't go through them back to school. So I just thought I'd pop out and, and give her this. And and um, it can, she can start it right away if she wants to. It can be her school planner if she likes. Or she can use it for whatever she wants to. But I just thought it'd be nice to get her another little thing for uh, starting school to make her new year feel a little bit special too. For $3, this is a great young girl's planner. And it even has the little closure band here. And it's 18 months, so it'll do or They can start now and go all through the year. Um, they wouldn't be able to use July and August, of course, but they can tear them out and decorate away for September if they want. So I'm going to drop that down there and grab something else. Let's see. I... Went specifically looking for the punches that I've seen people hauling and some of the papers and things like that, and I didn't find them. But I did find this Mambi paper stack. Now, what's really cool about this is the paper folds out to four times the size. So this is great big sheets. So there's this design and you get two of them and then this one let me see if I can do it this way I have to keep tipping you back and forth depending on uh, what I've got so there's this page there's two of those oh look at how pretty this one is that is so pretty if I do that the glare goes away so of course there's two of each Oh, I like this. Look at the grays and the pinks. Isn't that pretty? I love the mauve. So lots of grays, pinks, and, and, and mauvey pinks. Very, very nice. But I was thinking that this would make some really nice gift bags. Or um, the paper seems to be about maybe a little heavier than normal gift wrap. It's not like your thick scrapbooking paper. Um, there's some blue on this one, some gray on this one, a kind of a taupey gray, and then some brown. 
Isn't that pretty? And then some silvery gray um, triangles and some... <laughs> I've lost my words. Um, my floor is herringbone. That's not what this is. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a zigzag. <laughs> Anyway, that was $4. Now, that's an amazing amount of paper. Like, this is heavy. Um, 18 inches by 25 inches each sheet. And there's two each of 12 different patterns. So, yeah, 24 sheets for $4. That's an amazing buy, in my opinion. I got this little scrapbooking kit or not scrapbooking kit crafting kit and this is a dream catcher kit and it has a metal hoop it has the um needle it has the cordage it has some um leather looking cord um i, do, I don't imagine it's real leather not for a dollar fifty uh, it has some feathers, it has some beads, and let me see if I can get this up there without opening the package. There. Isn't that cool? It has the cow's skull and horns. Of course, the bead fell onto that. Uh, the beads and some other beads and some... So it's got everything that you need here to make a dream catcher. And I really thought when Elizabeth comes down and spends the night that this is something that she can work on while I'm working on another project or doing a planner video. Um, she loves to sit at a little table here beside me when I'm doing my filming and to do her own thing, as you all know. And she usually will share it with us. I got this package of mini yarns. This was $4 and I know I can get the larger skeins of yarn fairly cheap, but this is 40 meters or 43.7 yards of eight, 10 different colors. So there's this really light, um, kind of a lilac -y purple, this pale sky blue, uh, gray, navy, and this bright blue, dark pink, a medium pink, a light pink, a white, and a black. And all I was looking for was some, um, I'm looking for some strings and yarn and things like that for tassels. And I thought, you only make so many of it out of a skein. And if you're not a knitter or a crochet um, person, then you don't use it up. So I thought these little balls are absolutely perfect. So Dollarama, thank you so much for stepping up your game. And this is the Crafts um, brand. So it, it'll be good. And I found these pens. Now they're called uh, Jella X. They've got a comfort grip, smooth gel ink clean bold lines um, there are 0 0.7 which is the size that I like to write with um, I had to dig through to find one with black ink because most of them were blue and but I just look at rose gold on accents on that black pen huh yeah yeah, for $2, so a buck a piece for these pens. I'm going to do this right now because um, if anybody sees them and wants to get them, I'm just going to show you whether or not they work and what they write like. I'll do it really quick. Also, look at how pretty that is. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I'll just turn this over and oh, smooth. Yeah, they write nice, really, really nice. I love a pen that the ink just flows from and you don't have to try when you first start using it. So I got myself some new pens 
and I'm going to grab a bunch of things out of here now because they kind of all go together and I'm just going to toss them all on here. Trying to find them all. So on my list, I had, on my list I had, um, I wrote down things to make tassels. So I'm always looking for jute for my fall projects. And while I was looking for this type of stuff, I found these. And it says jute ribbon, six pieces. It doesn't tell you how much. Oh, maybe it does down here. Uh, one meter, 39 inches each. And that's quite a bit. You get two of these, they're kind of wide, three of these kind of wide ones, then, then a braided one. This leafy pattern and this. But jute always comes in handy in my projects. I found these. Um, now I have a idea, a crafting idea for these. Now these are six feet six inches um they look like they're two inches or more wide at least two inches wide and the ribbon is a really nice fabric and the colors like look at these colors this is almost a um almost a jute gold flack this is a green with gold. This is a dusty rose with gold and a cream with gold and a black with silver. Um, let me see if I can just get a little piece of that out so I can show it to you without the packaging on it. There. You can just barely see the little fleck in it, but it's really, really pretty. And they were $1.25 each. Um, I just wanted them to add to my stash because I kind of have an idea what I'd like to try them for. And then these were the cords that I found. They are $1.25 each, and I got this bright it's not yellow it's not gold it's not orange it's but it's bright and it is so so pretty um i wish they'd give these kind of a color and they just call it decorative rope i got this kind of peachy color not quite pink and not quite red like a peach and i got this bright orange Oh, I thought that, that those colors would just go with some jutes and browns and golds and make them pop. And I got some of this. It is, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm gonna, it's a very thin braided gold metallic rope. And this one says metallic rope as well, and it's thin and braided, and it's this brown. If I get my hand in there, the camera will focus better there, kind of. But yeah, yeah, so that. So basically, this whole shopping trip was to fill out supplies that I was starting to get a little bit slack on. Um, the other day... I went to get a little piece of wire and I hunted all over my house for a little piece of wire and couldn't find any and realized that that wasn't something that I'd incorporated into my stash at all. Um, yeah, unless I had a pipe cleaner, I didn't have any wire and I thought that this would be perfect and I needed a little thin wire. This is galvanized steel wire, wire, um, 10.9 yards per spool. That's tons of wire uh, for $1.50. I thought that was good. I needed some new sewing needles. So I picked up for a dollar and a quarter, I picked up this 
package of all different sizes. Um, I don't use these little thin ones, the really tiny little ones much anymore, mostly because I can't see to thread them. But these were the ones that I wanted the most anyway. And these are the carbon steel nickel plated, just as good as what you buy anywhere else for a dollar and a quarter. So those were fine. I grabbed a couple of packages of glue sticks and just the clear glue sticks. Well, I got another package of these LED string lights. Um, never know what I might come up with. I'm going to start stocking up on these, maybe grab a pack each time I see them there. They seem to come and go from the Dollarama and the Dollar Tree, so I'll just grab them when I see them. And... I bought this. Yeah, I did. I, I've i turned it away. I've had it in my hand and turned it away. It's just a sketchbook. It's $3.50. Um, the cover is kind of a textured. It's just a heavy chipboard. And it's craft paper. Just craft paper. But I got another package of battery operated tea lights um, just because it's that time of year and I'm doing projects so yeah and I okay I got some florals some autumn florals and when I was at Dollar Tree um, they'd been pretty picked over I just don't get there often enough but um, the Dollarama in Lindsay, where I was at, they, it looked like they had just stocked them up. So I got this beautiful little sprig here. And it's got some wheat, um, some large maple leaves, some grass, uh, and this beautiful orange sunflower with some jute behind it. And I've got this for a project that will be coming up and I bought this bouquet um, it's really let me see if I turn it this way if you can see it better now it has it was three dollars it has leaves and these big orange flowers it has ferns it has grass it has these berries um, what else does it have in here? It has these pumpkins and they call it, what do they call it? They call it a Halloween. They just call it Halloween. So it's their Halloween bouquet. And I just think that this is a very pretty little bouquet stand alone as it is. And I bought two of them so two of them so that's it that's my haul um if you like it don't forget to uh, comment and share and hit that like button and uh, if you're new here thank you very much for joining us glad you were here to watch if you'd like to see more um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Check out my channel. Um, maybe there's something on here that interests you. I do a various amount of different things. Um, basically, it's just my life. Um, all the things that I'm interested in. And bye-bye um, for now, everybody. And I will see you in the next video.